Hello, Namaskar, Nihao Konnichiwa, Bonjour, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about the new deadly virus that is the hantavirus that recently killed a man in China within hours after testing positive. And also find out that whether this hantavirus is more dangerous than coronavirus. Keep watching. Reports of a person in China dying due to a virus called hantavirus have spread a panic at a time when the world is battling the pandemic of novel coronavirus which began in China. So let's start about this hantavirus. Hantavirus is a single stranded enveloped RNA virus in the family of hantaviridae. It is named for the Hanta River area in South Korea where an early outbreak was observed and was isolated in 1976 by Wang Li. These viruses normally infect rodents but do not cause disease in them. How do the hantavirus get transmitted? The humans may become infected with the hantavirus through contact with the rodent urine, saliva or feces or even the rodent bites. The human-to-human -human transmission of this virus has not been known except for the Andes virus, which is also a type of hantavirus that can spread by human-to-human -human contact via the bodily fluids or long-term contact from one infected individual to a healthy person. Transmission through the fomites has not been demonstrated in hantavirus disease. The duration that hantavirus remains infectious in the environment varies based on the factors such as the rodent's diet, temperature, humidity and whether outdoors or indoors. The viruses have been demonstrated to remain active for 2-3 to three days at room temperature, while the ultraviolet rays in direct sunlight kills them within a few hours. However, rodent droppings or urine of undetermined age should always be treated as infectious. What are the diseases caused by the hantavirus? Some strains of the hantavirus cause potentially fatal diseases in humans such as hantavirus hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome or hantavirus pulmonary syndrome also known as hantavirus cardiopulmonary syndrome while others have not been associated with non-human diseases. Hemorrhagic fever with renal syndrome It's also known as the World World hantavirus it is found in Europe, Asia, and Africa. The incubation period of the hemorrhagic fever is 2-4 to four weeks and their severity depends on the viral load. Initial symptoms begin suddenly and include intense headaches, back and abdominal pain, fever, chills, nausea, and blurred vision. Individuals may have flushing of face, inflammation or redness of eyes, or appearance of rash. Later, symptoms can include low blood pressure, acute shock, vascular leakage or acute kidney injury which can cause severe fluid overload. The severity of the disease depends upon the virus causing the infection. The complete recovery may take weeks or months. The Hantavirus Pulmonary Syndrome, also known as New World Hantavirus, it is found in North, Central and South America. It is often fatal pulmonary disease. The symptoms include the prodromal features like the flu-like symptoms such as fever, cough, muscle pain, headache, and lethargy. It is characterized by the onset of shortness of breath with rapidly evolving pulmonary edema that is collection of the fluid in the lungs that is often fatal despite intervention with mechanical ventilation and potent diuretics. And the case fatality rate of this hantavirus pulmonary syndrome is 36% which is higher than coronavirus. That means if a person suffers from this hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, the chance that person dies is higher than when a person gets infected with the coronavirus. What is the treatment of this hantavirus? There is no specific treatment, cure or vaccine for the hantavirus infection. However, if infected individuals are recognized early and receive medical care in intensive care unit, they may do better. The earlier the patient is brought to intensive care unit, the better it is. If the patient is experiencing full distress, it is less likely the treatment will be effective. Immunotherapy, 
administration of the human neutralizing antibodies during acute phases of the hantavirus has only been studied in mice, hamsters and rats. There are no reports of control trials. How can you prevent hantavirus infection? As we all know that prevention is always better than cure, the Center for Disease Control has mentioned that the best preventive measure against contracting hantavirus is to eliminate or minimize contact with rodents in the home, workplace, or campsite. Control of rats and mice in areas frequented by humans is key for disease prevention. General prevention can be accomplished by disposing rat nests, sealing any cracks or holes in homes where mice or rats could get in, setting up traps, or laying down poisons or using natural predators such as cats in the home. That's the end of the video. Please if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and keep watching.